Hello. Hi. Is it working now? Yeah. So, um, welcome and good morning. Um, How is everyone doing? I hope uh, you have recovered um, from yesterday's uh, tapas and, and beer. Um, my name is Ignacio. I am the director of the Open Nebula Open Source uh, Project. Um, well, uh, I have to say that for uh, the whole team, this is the best part of our job, you know, to know how you are using Open Nebula, how you are customizing Open Nebula. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, your uh, experiences, to know more details about your uh, infrastructures. Um, let me, uh, before I give you an overview of the project and an overview of the conference itself, let me ask you uh, one question. Why private cloud? I think this is a very good question. This is the Open Nebula event. Open Nebula is an open source technology to build private and hybrid cloud infrastructures. So if you are here, it's because you are planning or you are building or you are operating your own private cloud. This is what you are doing now, but you know that there are many public cloud providers around. And I am sure that management in your company has asked you this question, why private and not public? Okay. So, uh, let me uh, help you answer uh, this question. You know that it has been uh, 11 years ago when Amazon uh, kicked off the most transformative provision paradigm shift in this history of data center infrastructure. Okay, you know that this was uh, very important because Amazon was able to bring terms like uh, as a service, uh, elasticity or paper use to the rigid uh, infrastructure uh, data center environment. Um, since then, you know, uh, the public cloud market uh, has grown a lot. This shows the market share of the four main cloud providers. You have Amazon, you have uh, Azure, you have Sublayer, and you have Google. So you can see that Amazon, in, this is 2016, second quarter, you see that Amazon is leading the market with more than 30% of the market share. Okay. Um, here you have a column with information about the annual growth, the annual uh, increase of this uh, market share. So it's interesting to see two things. The first important thing is the, that this is a highly concentrated market. You see the four big players aggregate the 55% of the market. And the next 20 players you have here, AT, Moldy, tel Telcos, AT&T, VT, et cetera, they uh, have about the 25%. And moreover, this is an increasing concentration because you see that the four big players are growing in average at 70% when the rest of players here are growing at 41%. So clearly, public cloud market is becoming a oligopoly. You see, for example, they now have a very strong focus on deploying a massive centralized data, data centers. For example, Amazon is now running 14 regions worldwide. You also have uh, here Azure with 30 regions. and have uh, Google with six regions. If we want to estimate the size of the infrastructure, I have tried to do, this, to do these numbers. And you have here a table with the number of zones of each of these four main players in 2016. This is the new zones that according to their websites, they are planning to start during 2017, okay? And this is an estimation of the number of servers uh, that they are running. Uh, this is obtained but because uh, mostly each zone can have one or more data centers, and most data centers house between 50,000 and 80,000 servers. So if you uh, estimate these numbers, you will see that Amazon is now running between two and four millions of servers. You have Azure with between one and three, SoftLayer half a million, and you have Google with almost uh, one million servers. Okay, that means that the four big players are now housing between four and eight millions of servers. Okay, and this is growing. If you will see the number of new songs, it seems that this is growing. 20, 25% annually. The growth rate could be higher because we have seen that their, uh, their market set is growing at 70%. So the growth should be something between 25 and 70%. So 
One of the main conclusions that we could think here is that maybe Thomas Watson was completely right. You know this famous quote by Thomas Watson? Uh, in the, I think it was said in 1943. So after all, maybe he was completely right. So there's only a market need in the world for five clouds. And maybe we are going to see that in the near future. So is centralization the, you know, the uh, next step in cloud computing? So is private cloud uh, doomed? Is this the end of the private cloud? What is our future here? I mean, because we are trying to run a private cloud infrastructure. So um, one important issue is that this is, uh, I think, an overview of the public cloud market, but it's not an overview of the overall cloud uh, market. The future of the cloud is distributed. Uh, if you see, for example, more or less, you can estimate that public cloud represents 12% of the internet computing power. If you see uh, surveys, you see that uh, different studies show that uh, it's annual, each year you have uh, 10 million blade servers shipped, okay? And that means that now in operation could be about 50 million servers, okay? And if you uh, compare this figure with the number of servers, you know, being uh, operated by the main cloud providers, you will see that they only represent a 12% of the internet competing power. That's one thing. Other important thing is that public cloud represents a tiny fraction of existing data centers. For example, uh, there is uh, some uh, studies that show that in 2013, there were 3 million data centers only in the USA, and the number of data centers is growing, peaking at almost 9 million worldwide by 2017. So uh, that means that the servers being operated by the cloud providers is almost a time percent, and the number of data centers is much larger than the data center that have been operated by that, these providers. Moreover, you see, for example, uh, this uh, uh, IT spending su uh, survey in 40, 10 years. You see here that uh, the investment in public cloud is growing, but also the investment in private cloud is, is growing. Moreover, there is also a study that showed that most enterprises, okay, 17%, only run less than 20% of their workloads in the public cloud. So uh, there is a market for private cloud because there are many uh, scenarios, many uh, use cases, many applications that need private cloud computing, that need on-premises infrastructure or infrastructure being hosted by one of our partners. Uh, so why private cloud? Mainly because of performance, because maybe you are running a workload that requires you know, to be executed as close as possible to the end users in order to minimize latency, that one scenario. Maybe for performance, because of the workload profile, you are running an HPC cloud infrastructure, you have a specific requirements for the bandwidth and for the latency that they are not, you know, uh, met by uh, public cloud providers. Maybe because of security, because you have to keep data on premises within your organizations, so uh, there is, or you have requirements about confidentiality and about privacy. Maybe it's about cost, because you have to consider that many data centers, maybe some of you have a scale to be able to be cheaper yourselves compared with public cloud. And that's true, you know, public cloud from a cost perspective, you know that it strongly depends on the variability of the demand. Maybe you have an existing hardware you have an existing software, you have an existing know-how, so for you, it's natural to go to the private cloud and not go to public cloud. And finally, you know, there is some growing number of special proposed private cloud infrastructure. For example, we are uh, now, uh, we have some examples in telcos that they are running their own special proposed private clouds for running NFVs or for uh, virtualizing uh, network access. So you have here the, four, the five sorry, main resources for private cloud computing. Now, um, let's go to the, to the, to the projects. 
come back to the Open Nebula project and the, and the conference. You know, this is our sixth conference. We have our two first conferences in Berlin, uh, two in Barcelona. Uh, in, in 2017, we decided to split our conference into two different conferences, one in the USA, another here in Europe. Uh, we organized our first uh, conference in the US in, in, in Boston. It was in, in June uh, this year. And we are here, Madrid. So this is um, the first conference that we organized here. Um, this is our sixth uh, uh, conference. You know about our product. You know that our aim as open source uh, project is to build and to maintain the Open Nebula open source project, uh, sorry, product software. We uh, released our first version in March 2008, so more than nine years ago. This is the announcement of our first release, our first technology uh, preview. And you can see here in this announcement that uh, when we started Open Nebula, we envisioned private cloud as an evolution of data center. So we wanted to offer a technology that is simple and at the same time flexible to fit into any data center environment. Uh, the Open Nebula started as a research project in 2005. And in the first years of the uh, community, was mostly funded by uh, European projects, FP7, and now H2020 projects, and now is uh, fully funded and driven by uh, its users. Uh, we have to say that we uh, reinvest all our profits into growing the open source uh, project. Um, we have a clear aim. We focus on creating the best open source cloud management platform we can, and we also focus on fostering a healthy uh, relation, a healthy collaboration between the community, between the industry, and the academia. Well, uh, why? We, why uh, are we here? Why are we uh, investing uh, time, resources, into you know, creating this open source project? Because we want to bring uh, simplicity, we want to bring reliability, we want to bring openness, uh, we want to bring flexibility to the private cloud. Uh, how we define those terms? Well, when we talk about simplicity, for us, simplicity means that you don't need an army of administrators to build and maintain your cloud. This is our definition of simplicity. When we define openness, we, uh, for us, is that you can run production-ready software that is fully open source. This is openness for us. It's not that you have open source and you have enterprise editions. It's that you have a single open nebula distribution that is fully open source and enterprise ready. When we uh, talk about reliability, we mean that your cloud will run for years with little maintenance. Um, when we talk about flexibility, is that, I mean, you have your own internal procedures, you have your own services, your data center, so we want you to uh, build a private cloud to fit into your own data center environment and to fill into you, in, uh, fit into your uh, processes. Uh, about the technology itself, uh, you know, typical, very common question is how you compare with other uh, technologies. Basically, Open Nebula is light and simple, so for us, this means that it's easy to install, maintain, operate, and create and use. It's also flexible, so it's fully open source, and moreover, it's quite modular, so you can adapt. Fit into your environment. We also have that is robust, that is production ready, high scalable, available and supported, and powerful. You know that we bring some features that are not provided by others, like this peer-to-peer -peer federation between cloud instances, the hybrid cloud approach, BDC provisioning. One important message for us is that there is only one open nebula open source distribution, so it's not that there is a vanilla and then enterprise solutions. You have only one open source distribution. Uh, it's fully open source, as also it's enterprise ready. So uh, you have a single, upgradable package. So that is not a project where you have different components and you have integrated components, you know, to have something functional. In our case, it's a single package, okay, that you can easily upgrade. Uh, it's quite mature. We have uh, released 90 version of the software in nine uh, years. And also, of course, you are interested and you need it uh, for production environments. You have direct uh, commercial support from uh, the core developers of the, of the software. Uh, our last uh, 
major release was for uh, for 5.4 Medusa. You know that this uh, uh, release brought many different innovative uh, features. We will have uh, at the end of the morning at 12:30 um, talk by uh, Tino and Ruben where they will present the new features in 5.4 and also they will uh, discuss what we plan to incorporate in 5.6 and this is very important uh, for us I mean we look forward to your feedback we are now defining the roadmap for 5.6 so we would like to know your uh, feedback about this you have you know any comment this is at the right time within this uh, within this event uh, we want to thank all contributors and sponsors most of your committers uh, we have more than uh, uh, 1200 contributors at the open nebula and also especially to uh, blackberry and ucl because they founded some of the features that were incorporated into um, uh, 5.4 about our users uh, we know that running now uh, there are more than 3500 clouds with open nebula largest with 300,000 cores and 16 uh, data centers. Uh, you have here uh, some examples of our users. You know, cloud is uh, horizontal, so it's infrastructure. So we have tried to organize, you know, different reference users according to different industries, vendors, telco, gaming, uh, public, uh, software service, hosting, uh, banking, and you know, university, academia, or supercomputing. We uh, are proud to confirm that the number of downloads is growing at the same, uh, at the same rate. That is very good uh, for us, but you know that being an open source project, sometimes it's very difficult for us to know the details of these infrastructures. We know that you know, many uh, companies are using Open Nebula now, but uh, for us, uh, we cannot have information about how they are running the software, if they are running development environments, production environments, they are only prototyping, you know, proof of concept. Uh, we don't know about the number of hosts, about the internal architecture, about the customization. That's the reason why uh, we, we would like to know, you know, the details uh, behind these, these numbers. And of course, you all are invited to contribute to our post, like our blog, so you can write a post describing, you know, your use cases, your experiences, uh, everything you can't, uh, you know, uh, disclose to the rest of the community. About the community, uh, I mean, there are four different ways to contribute to Open Nebula. The first one, of course, is by using the software, okay, and give it feedback, okay. Uh, we, when you prepare, we prepare a roadmap, we prepare a roadmap to meet the demands of our users. So for us, it's very important to have this direct contact with the users and, and their needs. Uh, so you can contribute your experiences. And of course, you have a forum and you can help uh, support new users there. That's the first. The second one, of course, is by developing. This is fully open source Apache license code with fully a transparent process for development. And we have a public roadmap. Integrating, we have an add-ons catalog, we have an ecosystem directory, so you have developed any component or any integration around Open Nebula, you can write uh, 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 a post in order to describe it, and you can also contribute it. I mean, the idea is that other members of the community know that you have been working on that and that integration is, is available. Um, uh, what we try there is to, you know, to, to, to foster that uh, collaboration between different members of the community. And finally, uh, help in the communication in spreading the word of Open Nebula. Basically, we organize uh, Cloud Technology Days and the Open Nebula Conf. We have here some figures. Now we have 1,300 users at Forum Open Nebula. We have 8,300 subscribers to newsletters, and this is the number. It's more than 1,200 active users at the Open Nebula. Uh, about the Tech Days uh, this year, 2017, we have organized nine uh, tech days you know a tech date is a one day event during the morning we organize a tutorial and in the afternoon we have presentation by members you know the community users so uh, we are planning also to continue with these uh, tech days and the idea is that uh, we like of course to thank the organization that hosts a tech day and you are interested in hosting you know a tech day yes uh, let us know the idea is that 
we need, uh, you know, a room to organize a tech day for more or less uh, 50 people and you're helping promoting that event in your, in your area. Well, about the conference. Uh, this is a conference, okay, this is an education conference. This is not a sales and marketing event. So we don't do, you know, uh, marketing, you know, an announcement of sales here. That is not important. This is more an education event. So the important uh, for us is that this is an opportunity to learn, to learn about cloud, of course, about private cloud mostly, about Open Nebula as open source management platform to build and operate these uh, private clouds from real experiences and uh, from peers. So this is very important for us. So this is an uh, opportunity to learn from peers about how they have deployed their environment, how they have customized the environment, uh, if they are planning or not to contribute back those new features to the, to the project. That type of things is what really matters here. <laughs> um, this is our awesome lineup of speakers. So we have today four keynote speakers, we have nine regular speakers, and we have also some talks by our community members. Uh, of course, uh, on behalf of the, of the Open Nebula team, we would like to thank uh, all the speakers for your contributions. We are really looking forward to knowing more details about you know, your experiences and your use cases. Um, before I finish, um, we can start with the first uh, keynote. I have two very brief announcements. The first one is that we have a lightning talk section in the afternoon at 3, okay? Uh, there are six slots and we have five talks. So there is one slot available in case any of you is interested in presenting in five minutes, you know, your experiences. You know the rules up here, five minutes, only five minutes, three slides and only three slides, and you have to focus on only one key point, one use case, one experience. So if you are interested in contributing, just send an email to Tino, okay? And another announcement, uh, we have a room here that is a room for the uh, Meet the Esper uh, session, okay? That means if you want to meet with Open Nebula Esper and developers for a five minute chat, one to one, uh, send an email to Javier so uh, he can book you know, a slot uh, for you. The room is, I think, the next room here. So uh, just send him an email and we can, you can have time to discuss any issue, question, you know, that you have with them. Okay, and that's it. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoy the event and see you around. And uh, it's important, very important for us that any feedback, any comment that you have about the project, about the software, about the community, you know, any suggestion. I mean, we are here to know those, those details and we are looking forward to uh, talking to you and having more information about that. So thank you very much.